Hi everybody, it's Christy. So uh, what's gonna follow is a bit some just process, um, some sped up process of me working on some things for my Christmas journals. And I thought I would just go ahead and um, I'll share with you what I made and then I'll um, follow it up with the video. You guys can watch me make it. But um, I didn't show how I made these pockets, um, just embellishing. This pocket, is one that I learned to make from uh, watching a video by Tanya Samuels, and I'll link to that video below. And basically, um, she used the Tim Holtz uh, metallic paper and then sanded it. Uh, it's, it was really cool, so super cool video. Check it out. And then she printed some photographs onto some inkjet uh, transparency film and then cut them out and put them um, in her little window. And it turned out, it's just like such a cool idea. And so I use one of the TaylorMade Journal um, vintage, uh, vintage Christmas portraits, I believe they're called, and uh, printed those onto the inkjet transparency film and matted them. And then I used 90 pound watercolor paper uh, for my pockets and yeah, and then these are some of my collage tags that I made, and I just inked around the edge, added some eyelets, and some of this um, cool linen thread that I got at the textile center, and uh, punched a hole and added an eyelet at the top, and this is some vintage fabric from the textile center that I tied through, and then I just made a little cluster with some uh, vintage lace and a piece of cotton, and there's some cheesecloth, and then this is one of the Tim Holtz um, label stickers from this year's collection. So that's really cute. And that will either clip in or be attached to um, a journal page. So that'll be really cute. And then this is the other one that I did. And again, it's just got that sweet image and um, I just love it. And this one says believe. So I did that. And then I also worked on, and these are drying, but I worked on these little tiered pockets that I made. And so um, I was trying to imitate something that Yvonne Preston does all the time. However, um, I did when I cut my, she does like, she does an angled like, you know, so they cross over that way, but both my angles go the same direction instead of like one this way and one that way. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, I had done them incorrectly to begin with. And I thought, you know, I actually like it. I think it's, it works well. And, um, I machine stitched them on. I did ink the edges. Um, then I just made a little cluster. You'll see, I did a little cluster of fabric and uh, vintage lace. And then this is just one of the postage stamps from the Stamperia, Stamperia paper. And I used my little decal scissors. And then I added the Nouveau Crystal Lacquer to this. I just bought some a couple weeks ago. It came and I ordered it online and I thought I'm going to give it a try and see how it looks. Well, um, I'm not sure they're still incredibly wet, <laughs> but I took a couple of the ephemera um, journaling cards and such from the TaylorMade Journal um, Christmas kits that I'm using and added some tabs and things and so these would go in there. And this is another altered library card. And I, that process is in the video as well. And super cute. And then I just put an eyelet in and added some of this uh, vintage. It's like that linen stuff I shared. Um, I got it at the textile center. It's really cool. But I did a little double layer of that. Yeah, so that's the first one. And then this is the second one. And again, just really cute. So I worked on these. I think they're really cute. And again, I've got the double layer there and the lacquer that's still very wet. And I'm totally, I do not want to mess it up, but I think it'll be kind of cute. So I did those. And then I also worked on inside. Um, Here we go. Yeah, so on these pockets that we had already done, I added um, the tabs to a couple of these. Next up, I need to make, um, so I added tabs there. And then I also added tabs to 
and then I added tabs to these. Um, next step that I want to start working on is I need to make a snippet. Um, I need to do a little snippet roll kind of thing. And um, so that's kind of next up on my to-do list. And I'm hoping I can get these journals um, both done and finished um, this coming weekend. Today's Veterans Day. And so um, it's a little afternoon. I got all my domestic chores done this morning. And then I just was have been able to play a little bit. And so I'm going to do some more this afternoon. I think I'll take a break and go have lunch. And then um, I'll come back um, and work some more this afternoon. But yeah, it's a great stormy day and I hope you guys are well and stay tuned. Um, here's the process. I'm not sure how long it is, but I'll have it sped up and you guys can just kind of watch. If you have any questions about anything that I used, uh, just let me know. I do have a video uh, that I'll link below um, where I talked about the supplies I'm using, the digital kits and things like that. So I'll link to that below. And um, some of the other supplies I use, like dyes, things like that. If you have questions, uh, just let me know, and I'll talk with you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye. <music>
Thank you.